Here are the top five tips to ensure that you become a successful hitchhiker. I'm standing at the Puente Rio Loa, which is the Rio Loa Bridge in Chile. This is the Trans Panamanian Highway. And the first tip is look clean, tidy, well presented. Short hair, shaven, smart clothes, clean clothes. Minimize the amount of luggage. So I take the rucksack off and I put it on the ground and it's pretty small in size. Position yourself on a road where the driver's got plenty of time to decide whether he wants to stop or not. It, I say he because it normally is a man. Avoid standing on a bend. You can stand on the outskirts of a town where you've lost all the local traffic and you're capturing all the long distance traffic. Or if you're on a long straight road like this one, the driver's got plenty of time to see you. Of course, you want to try to avoid fast roads where drivers just won't want to risk braking suddenly. Also, this flag helps very, very much. People often stop because they say, oh, he's a foreigner. Oh, I used to live in England. Or I worked in England. Or I am from England and I work in Chile. And when you do get your lift, it's a good idea to have positive, lively conversation. And one of the best examples I've had recently was a man picked me up a few days ago. And because he was so fascinated with my journeys around the world, he decided he was going to drive 50 miles further on to drop me in Kalama so I wouldn't be late to join a little group to visit a copper mine. And his kindness saved me 24 hours of not having to waste my time by waiting. So if you hitchhike, it's good also, tip number six I should say, to be alone because often there's not enough room for two passengers plus luggage. Gracias.